Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and a brand new Patreon supporter campaign. So, this will be early access for Patreon supporters. The first episode is a freebie, and then Patreon supporters can then vote and watch the rest of the campaign as it unfurls. Once it's completed, everyone gets to see it. So, thank you very much to the Patreon supporters for all their support. Now, we're playing as Zhao Ming, the Iron Dragon. Ruler of the Sky Roll. Yes, there we go. Very imp impressive title. Fire impressive title. Shall save us all. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just, I'm just wondering how do you get? I mean, you wouldn't want to live up there, would you? Getting the shopping up would be a nightmare. To your arms in, wouldn't it? You wouldn't want to drop anything. Imagine putting, imagine putting out the washing and then strong wind, it's gone. Never see those pair of pants again, would you? Oof, might be your favourite pair as well. What, what difficulties? What? Have you fallen in with a bad crowd, Xiao Ming? Never mind. Anyway, so we're playing as, as Xiao Ming, and I do think Cathay is, is actually a lot of... I think Cathay has some of the more interesting mechanics of any of the factions. Um, so you have Harmony, which I really like as a mechanic, because it's, it's tough to balance it, but it's well worth the effort, which is great. And it's not massively punishing if you don't balance it, but obviously it's better if you do. So that's, I like that. A lot of really good strong effects as well. None of this Namby Pamby 2% speed bollocks. No, some really good abilities. Like, you know, minus five corruption. Perfect. Eight control. Perfect. Income. Yes. Growth. 40. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. You know, and an ability. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. Really like that. You also have the caravans. Which are great fun. Uh, get out of there. So we have Gun Who. Gun Who there. Uh, he is... Who... What do, what do you do? What are you? What's your thing? Are oh, you an ogre ally. So you start with ogres. Do you? Oh yeah, you do. Didn't notice. Okay. Uh, now, we're immediately going to send our caravan. Just whack up the... The debris. And... Uh, do we send it like that's going to take five turns? I think that's. A f Sh mm. Do mm. do we maybe try and make friends with the ogres first, or ah, fuck it, it's probably fine. I mean, this is going to give us four k, which is pretty legit. So I'm set. Uh, let's just go for it. Let's just send like let's send Gun Who. To to okay, well that's good. Gun Who is going to go straight off there. So uh, Zhao Ming. He is the Lord of the Jade Sworn, which increases his magic item drop chance, which is really good, and upkeep reduction for melee units. Very nice. And uh, his, his faction ability, there we go. Yeah. Good. Maximum cargo capacity, plus 20% for caravans. Very nice. Hero recruit rank for alchemists, upkeep reduction for ogre mercenary units, and armor for melee units. So Xiao Ming himself is, he, he kind of likes his melee boys, which is fine. I like my melee boys too, so we've got something in common there. Uh, we can immediately get the Jade Warriors. We probably want to do that. But first, what else do we have here? We've got a training camp. We can get the Jade Warrior crossbows. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And then... So we currently are... Yeah, so we want some Yin, don't we? Ideally. Some Yin. Do we want to do that? we we'll probably go for some growth, actually. Growth may not be the worst thing to get going to give us income from all buildings as well. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not the worst choice to have. So let's just grab that. That's fine. The tech tree is fine, I guess. As I, I mean, you know, upkeep minus 5%, that's quite nice. Uh, upkeep reduction for Yang armies. Cash I mean, it's, it's not bad. There's some, there's some good stuff in here. You know, constru construction time for ports is... Um, um, I, I think the closest port is probably down here, so not, not that useful. But uh, maybe once we get the combined map, maybe. So the techs are, you know, fine, I guess. Let's go for... Ooh. Vigor loss reduction, more armor. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go, fle let's go fletching. Fletching mentors. Let's do something like that. And of course, we start off... Our foil is the Skaven. So we have Clan Eshin in Benvar Hills, which we're going to have to root out. So let's start off by beating up Brom here. 
Oh, first battle of a brand new campaign. It's got that mm, fresh, spicy warpstone tang. So, of course, one of our starting units is the big rocket thingy majig, whose name I've forgotten. The fire rain rocket. There we go. Very good against large blobs of infantry. The Skaven brings the table large blobs of infantry. So this first battle is not going to be particularly difficult because we can basically bait the Skaven into attacking us. The only real issue is going to be the enemy general. But we've got our great Longmar riders hanging out to the rear. Of course, airborne shock cavalry. Quite useful because shock cavalry's main issue is getting into a good position when they're airborne. You don't need to worry about that. Then we've got our jade warriors. The peasant archers behind them. And then, of course, we've got our peasant long spearmen. Garbage units, but, uh, you know, they'll suffice for the moment. And then, of course, we've got Zhao Ming himself. General Zod. Kneel before Zods, who does some cool Mortal Kombat-like combat shit. Look at this. How you can? It's fucking awesome. He does some, like, bicycle kicks as well. Some slides. Look at that bullshit. I mean, I... That, that's the kind of thing I would do if I was in a fight. Or at least I was if I didn't... I'd probably put my back out. So, I, I wouldn't. But I could if I wanted to. Enemy general fleeing away from Zhao Ming, heading down towards our front line. You're currently engaging the Skaven Slaves. They are, of course, way better than the Skaven Slaves. You have the Harmony effect, which gives bonuses. So we get up, up to 12 melee defense additional, and missile units get uh, more reload skill. So basically, as long as, I, as, long as our army is in formation... We do very, very well. Zhao Ming's coming back to lay the smack down on this rodent. Oh, look at that. Doing some twirly kick shit. That's good. Get him, Zhao Ming. Yeah. Okay, looks like the rest of Skaven are being picked apart. Great Longmar riders hunting down any fleeing units. Some units rallying, but not for long. Our peasant archers will then pick them off as they come charging back. And it's just a case of dealing with the enemy general. And, uh, you know, we have Zhao Ming here, who's doing all kinds of fancy flip kicks and shit. Just back... Just, just I think, fairly sure he just backhanded him with fire. This is why I, I like Zhao Ming, because he just... He fights so cool. I, I, don't, I do think Miao Ying does do some similar cool things, but they're less cool. She just she does less like you know Mortal Kombat bollocks. Anyway, this general should be running fairly soon. Yep, there he goes, and Xiao Ming is going to go full dragon form for no particular reason, just to show off, really. Literally just to show off. A nice e a gift of chaos. It's probably fine. Um, this, this this is what we were talking. This, this is the difficulties, isn't it? This is it's fine. A little gift of chaos never hurt anyone. <coughs> okay, good. So let's Min Tao. What do you do? You're sure-footed. More control, leadership. Okay, it's not bad. It's all right, isn't it? Give to, yeah, no, that's 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 fine. That's um, that's it's fine. I just found it lying around. I mean, you know, don't want to don't want to go, go in waste, do you? Don't want to go into wastes. Uh, let us do something like that. 
Okay, I think I'm, uh, we got the we got the compass as well, haven't we? So that will unlock in four turns. So we get different options there. So I mean, the compass is probably it's it's probably the mechanic of Cathay I'm least interested in. But I really love the caravan mechanic. I think that is it's fucking genius for several reasons. There's no reason not to, to use it. So, you may as well. And also, it it provides you a way of, of having sort of an experience without it affecting your main campaign. So what I mean by that is that the caravan will go on its merry way and you can sort of impact how the kind of experience the caravan will have through your main campaign. But the caravan itself is not going to take you away from your main campaign. It doesn't cost any upkeep. It provides you with resources. And it provides you with an interesting sort of storyline. And a character you can follow. Which is perfect. It's everything the Rifts are not. Because the Rifts, just they, they take you by the nose and make you go through them. They take you out of the main campaign. And they don't provide you with anything. Or at least they didn't. They do now, but I would I would still say it's probably not worth the effort. Anyway. So we've got a nice tea parlour. I love a bit of tea. Oh, and now a contemplation garden. There's nothing more I like than having a cup of tea and contemplating things in the garden. Hmm. Like, should I mow the grass? Yes. Am I going to? No. Okay, so let us go and bop this, which is no doubt a Skaven Hole. It is a Skaven Hole. Uh, do I just want to water resolve this? I do want to water resolve that. Because Lord knows. Oh, a Swordmaster and a Jade Amulet that gives us... Oh, that's actually legitimately fucking awesome. So wait, if we're casting it's an area really oh that's that's um that is very nice that is very very nice i am very pleased with that holy shit and gambler's armor should be that'd be a good shout wouldn't it right okay Xiao Ming. so we've got two skill points to spend here so, Desert Weapons is quite nice. I mean, melee attack... I mean, are we going to use that a lot? Mm, maybe not. But I would like to get... Wall of Wind and Fire. So, I'm tempted to grab that early. Because that... Is a lot of fun. Okay, we've got a training camp here. Do we need the training camp? We could potentially eventually change it over, but I don't think it's worth having it there. Eventually, yes, we probably do. But Zhenwu is not going to be defensible to start off with. And if that comes onto siege, we'll lose the ability to recruit. So I'm going to knock it down here for and then we're going to build it up. Then we might swap it around later. Get out of my mind. That's my thinking. I'm surprised my caravan's actually doing so well. Mind you, we'll probably get attacked. Probably get attacked in a minute. Uh, now, we can probably get some trades. The Jade Custo. Now, I, what I don't know is whether we want to maybe... Do we want to try and conquer Cathay? Or do we want to try and, you know, woo them diplomatically? The I think we'll start Canada off... Emperor, we'll start off by getting trade agreements. Celestia and I may... I may decide just to, like, upon the glory of the wail on them Empire. eventually. You know what? I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that with you. Above all. I can't believe my sister is, is not cool with me. What a bitch. Shocking, isn't it? Because <laughs> she's a storm... Because, uh, yeah... Yeah, she's electric. This is a storm dragon. That's a storm. Get it? Good? Okay, cool. 
Right. Oh, 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 laggy. Uh, good. Right, so we've got this. Let us get our, How are we balancing? So we've got Yang. We've got a little bit of Yin there. Uh, we probably could do with a little bit more Yin. Uh, let us go with the spice market, maybe. Good time. Let's head towards the city of monkeys. I kind of want to take Shang Yang, but we'll go for the city. Well, do we? Let's get some crossbows. So we've got two options here. Shangyang is is a capital. We could do that. We do know that the clan Eshin are over here somewhere. So it's probably best to try and take Shangyang, because that is defensible, right? That's got walls. That so I I reckon we're probably going in the wrong direction here. Um let's go increase mobility. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna and ignore that, and we're going to head in this direction. We're going to head in this direction, because I want Shang Yang first. Then we'll go back to the City of Monkeys. Okay, they've got a they've got a big old sack there. The Stranger. As the caravan comes to a halt for the night, a stranger wanders into the ad hoc camp. Stopping by the guards, he begs an audience of the caravan master. He offers to join the retinue for no, no pay. There are safety numbers, but he will help protect the caravan. So we get a hunter. Yeah, all right. Makes sense. We'll take him. And that's that's the other thing I like, is that you kind of pick up units as you progress. And I think that's really fun. I think that's 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 good fun. It is good fun. I like that a lot. Uh, oh, wait. Do we have... Oh, I've got you, the anti-capitalist. Obviously, level 17. Uh, it's going to cost us a little bit more to get them, so we won't do that just yet. Uh, what are we up? Trained, fleet of foot... Bureaucrats. Uh, we are... So, if I take a yin... Mind you... We've got some tech coming, haven't we? Okay, what we're going to do... I'm going to take a yin. I'm going to take this, this one. We need to lure these guys into an ambush. You will obey. Uh, we, we cannot afford that. So, we'll just stick an ambush there. Shadow. We'll try and bring you up. Lure everyone in. It's going to go great, trust me. I like how this is a port, but without an actual port building. Um, doesn't one of the compass things, like, give bonuses for ports or something? Was it that? Maybe not. Maybe it's just the tech. So we do have techs to, in to like help with ports, but we don't have any ports. There are no ports in Cathay. Yet. Oh, interesting. Uh, caravan stumbles upon a patrol of allies that have been lost for some time. Okay, so we've got uh, Jade Warrior crossbows with shields. Yeah, we're going to get the lost, lost Rangers. We're doing very... I mean... We're doing very well with the old, as hot as the forge's hot. with the old caravan, the aren't we? Words. That's looking pretty good so far. I'm very happy with that. We must be tireless. Hmm. Praise be to the iron wind. Okay, if we scamper up here. Subterfuge, most cunning. Okay, you sit. You sit there. I want a Yang tech, but I kind of want more armor. Must so let's do something like that. You. More growth would be nice, wouldn't it? Not too worried about defensive supplies. Control's okay, so we'll get the Celestial Lake. So we get income from all buildings. Winds of magic increase chance. That's all good for us. Is that going to increase my money? It does increase my money a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Come on. Come out. No, you didn't want to come out. You have... I got spotted, didn't I? I was indeed spotted. That's fine. We can lay, lay a little ambush. Give that another shot. Come on. Hello, sis. It's you. My mind was... Elsewhere. Not on your sister. Probably for the best. 
Okay, well, death mark. Oh, hello. We've got a frost, a, a, fr a frost worm skull? No, a frost worm skull. Good. Vanguard deployment, missile resistance for all units in the army, which is fine. Desert Alchemist. A starwood staff is is okay. Um, okay, I'm going to give you this because why not? I'm not so bothered about Vanguard deployment, but the missile resistance is is nice. Dragon blooded sugar. They're not falling for it, are they? Okay, it looks like we're going to have to deal with Deathmaster Snitch first. Because he's scampering in this direction. But that's okay. So let's try that. I would like to... I'd like to be in harmony. Um, so, I need two... Yang. We have tech coming along. I could do that. And then that. The Iron Dragon. Okay, I want better scales. So I, go, I mean, we didn't even have any attacks on the caravan. I, I almost never have that. Inevitably, I will always get attacked. You have the honor. Of but somehow we managed to to lock out there. I'm going to take. Ah, we did. Okay, we didn't get the the ambush. It's going to take a minute and a half for Xiao Ming to arrive. But Deathmaster Snitch has a, just a bunch of Skaven slaves, so I think we should be fine. Uh-oh. Poor old... Z I'm going to call her Z. Z poor old Z... Fortunately, she can cloak of jet herself, but it's not helping because um, they're too close. So she keeps on getting spotted. But she can slow them down, so it should be fine. Meanwhile, the rest of our forces have arrived. Uh, there's a big old pit here. This looks fun. Yep, that, that looks like teeth. Good. And... We're going to try out our flame wall. Oh, look at all these rats charging. Oh, my God. It's rat genocide. Holy shit. I love this ability. It looks so cool. It's just a big burning wall of flame. Oh, my God. Xiao Ming, how many did you kill? Uh, a lot, I think, is the answer. Yep, 400. 400 rats dead. One spell. Okay, well, that seems fine. Z is making her way through the trees over here to come and join the fight, and Zhao Ming is keeping the Skaven at arm's length away from the rest of the army. I mean, there's, there's not much. How many rats have we killed? I mean, we've killed about a third of their army, so, so far, so good. Send so them scurrying back. We have to be careful of Deathmaster Snitch, of course, because he is an assassin. The greatest Skaven assassin. And I don't want him sticking some warp blades in my back. Mind you, Xiaomi might like that. It's basically acupuncture for him, isn't it? Deathmaster Snitch charging towards Xiao Ming. Getting a backhand fire slap. Fortunately, Z has also arrived on the scene. Coming to help out. And Deathmaster Snitch actually just decides to wander off. He he just keeps going. So I guess that's fine. Um, more flame wall. Flame wall's always fun. There's, there's never a bad time to use a flame wall. The Deathmaster is continuing to charge towards our lines, getting slowed there down to 22 speed. And I just rocketed my own infantry. Never mind. Just gives us a little bit more time to shoot him. He's going to get in amongst us. Never mind. That flame wall has... Yikes. Uh, so, 549 kills for Xiao Ming so far. And not many Skaven have actually managed to reach our lot. Really, it's just Deathmaster Snitch. And he will do a lot of damage to us. 
I mean, less damage than our own rock. I probably should have not. I should probably turn that off, shouldn't I? Probably not shoot our own. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, Xiao Ming is up to 691 kills, which is pretty good. And the enemy army is running for their lives, which is fairly understandable, I guess. And the Death Master can't decide which way to run. Xiao Ming and Z on their way to... Ch oh, guys, maybe don't rocket your own boys in the... Never mind. All right. De I mean, the Death Master's niche can, can dodge a lot of shit, but probably not all these arrows. That's probably too many arrows, right? Yeah, that's, that was too many arrows. Yeah, too many. Oh, Death Master Snatch has been sent reeling back from whence he came. I'm going to take the money. Thank you for the money. Uh, so, we've got more hero action success chance and stalk. Which is nice. And the Book of Asher. And a Starwood Staff. Wow, we're getting all the... All the wizardy shit. Look at that. Look at that. Well, I do think Wall of Wind and Fire is a very, very legit spell to start off with. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's get Root Marcher. Indeed. Uh, what do you have? Bound Rust, uh, Plague of Rust, Bound Spirit Leech. So I guess you could pick one of these. All very nice. These are fine. Uh, let's get Root Marcher and Inspiring Presence. I mean, currently you don't have anyone to be inspiring to, but give it time. You never know. You never know your luck. Let's just get Searing Doom. And then we'll kill you. Because you are in my way. Oh, I forgot to give the Gift of Chaos. Um, oh, I'm sure Xiao Ming will be fine with that. Duty. Eat it, nerds. Test subjects. Oh, a tax collector. And a Fu Hung monk. How hung is Fu? We just don't know. Get out of my mind. What do we have here? So we get Starwood Staff. Which makes sense. Let's grab that. Uh, you don't really need Vanguard deployment, do you? So I guess all that is fine. Can we send you out once again? I think we are. Oh, you uh, reserve? Yes. Okay. So if I boost you up. Oh, you're returning to capital. So I can't send you anywhere yet because you're. I, I should get another caravan. Do I get another caravan? Probably clandestine. Has veteran units or an artisan, which has additional gunpowder units. But what units is that? Are those Sky Lanterns or are they the good ones with rockets? Because if they're the ones with rockets, they're pretty fucking legit. Uh, if I have a look at this. So they are the Sky Lanterns, which I don't think are that good. I could be wrong. But I don't think they... So I'm going to hold off and see if anyone better rocks up. I think. Strength of Yang. That's 13 seconds. It's not that long. I mean, damage resistance in an, in an area around him is quite nice. I am going to get... I mean, basically, we, when he casts a spell... Around him, things will just melt. Um, let, let's go with that, because that's just going to give us more melee attack across the board, right? Subterfuge most cunning. 
Okay, I'm going to go over here and we're going to hope that we do get the ambush. Uh, let's get Gehenna's Golden Hounds for the moment. And we're going to upgrade you because that's going to give us more growth. I feel like maybe I should have gone for the City of Monkeys. I was hoping they'd attack me by now. Okay, here we go. Here we get right. Their reinforcements. That's fine. It says valiant defeat, but we've got one thing they don't have: a a fucking dragon. Okay, we have an issue here because while we are coming in as reinforcements from behind the enemy army, their reinforcements are also coming in behind us. So, we're going to have to split our forces. The Jade Warriors are going to fend off the incoming enemy reinforcements backed up by Zhao Ming and Min Tao. And then we have two units of Peasant Long Spearmen and our missile units which are going to try and fend off the rest of the enemy attack. Obviously, a little firewall. Be silly not to, wouldn't it? Churlish. Ooh, roasting. Just such a cool looking spell as well. Amazing. All right, well, it didn't kill many, but it definitely caused a bit of a rout in the center there. So far, so good. Meanwhile, the rest of the enemy army now advancing up. But, fortunately, they did go after Z, who's currently hiding in the corner over here. Which is going to give us a little, a little time to concentrate our fire on the units as they sort of, like, come back in drips and drabs. The Longmar Riders charging down into the Jade Crossbowmen. And looks like we have the upper hand here, just mopping up the enemy reinforcements as we turn our attention to the main force. The enemy general, re reinforcement general, you die. No, you die. It's currently under attack by Zhao Ming. And more flamey wall because I, I just like the spell, to be honest. It's like going through a car wash of fire. New Die is running for her pitiful life. And our missile units now advancing up so we can mop up the survivors as a mass rout occurs there. The Long Mile Riders charging into the rear of these Jade Warriors. Racking up the kills there. And also hopefully wiping out the units, our missile units, then also getting into position so we can then hopefully mop up as many of these guys as possible. Because, of course, we, once we've won this battle, we need to move in and then lay siege to the capital. And hope we've done enough damage and taken as little damage as possible so that we can actually take the city. Okay, losses were acceptable. We go back and siege them now. They will have replaced everything they lost, but... We're still going to siege them, because otherwise... Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, I mean, what do they have? It's fine, really. Um, also, reinforce... Wait, what? Oh, they have those guys as well. Well, I know what we can do with them, actually, is attack them. If I give you a horsey, then you can sort of stay ahead of them. It's probably a good idea, isn't it? And I could also give you a missile? Sure. Right, if I attack you, are you going to run away? No, you're going to sit there and take it. A rune of courage... Really? Okay. Um, 
Because, can I just auto resolve this? Is that going to be fine? Is it not going to be fine? With the number of crossbows, I, I, I suspect that's probably not going to be fine. So we'll fight it. Now, I probably could have auto resolved this. I just don't trust the auto resolve not to kick me in the nuts. Because, to be honest, I mean, we've got fire, rain, rocket boys and girls. And so it's basically a case of. How much am I going to have to mop up with my actual army? I've also achieved peak harmony. That's right. Thank you for noticing. And as such, I can summon in a band of celestial ancestor warriors. Who will only turn up when you're super fucking balanced. And I am balanced. And they come to throw themselves against the Jade Warrior crossbowmen, and basically just blob up the enemy. That's that's their job. They blob up the enemy, and then I rain rockets of fire on their heads. And, you know, the fire car wash as well. Look out behind you! Oh, they were not paying attention. Okay, the forces are now advancing, just as like a mop-up operation. A little, little dragon breath there as well. Again, could have auto resolved this. Didn't trust it not to give each of these crossbows like 50 kills. I mean, it, it probably wouldn't have, he says. But, I don't know, it would have, let's be honest. Let's be brutally honest here. It definitely would have. I'm going to turn Xiao Ming into a dragon just for shits and giggles. You know, he has to stretch his wings, doesn't he? He doesn't have wings, but you know what I mean. And I'm also going to cast the reflex spell on these guys because, I don't know, I fancied it, basically. Just having a bit of fun with them, aren't I? So you cast it on them. And then you have to go, why are you hitting yourself? 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 Why? What? what why, why are you doing it? Why are you hitting yourself? Losers. Okay, well, I, I, think, I think it's safe to say that we won that one fairly convincingly. Yep. Okay. I'm going to take the money again. Thanks very much. Okay. Those guys are dead. How does that make things look? Close to feet. That's better. Also, less stuff to kill. That's... Oh, I wouldn't kill everyone. It would just... Okay, well, that's fine. Good. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Got the Rune of Courage. That's fine. Uh, that's probably due to a mod. That's okay. Oh, there's a little, little green skin issue down there. That's fine. We'll worry about that in a second. There's no staff of damnation. Ooh, that's um, that's interesting. We're also perfectly motherfucking balanced. That's right. I am totally balanced. Great bastions under attack. Don't worry about that. We're fine. It's not our problem. It's our sister's problem. Good luck, sis. Fingers crossed for you. My well, claws, anyway. Hmm. Um. Right. Let's. Let us get. Do I want more weapon strength or melee units? I mean, yes. It's not the worst. I mean, our melee units at the moment aren't very good. But missile strength. I mean, missile strength is always going to be good. I kind of want to go a little bit more melee orientated. 
I think, I think making Zhao Ming a big beefy boy though is probably a good shout. But maybe getting some of these bonuses first. Like warding iron is going to give us that's that that's gives him a buff, and he is a melee unit, so that gives him weapon strength as well. Does it? Maybe, probably not. But let's go for it anyway. I don't think it did. Never mind. Um, let's grab that, and then. It only affects one unit. So, piercing is quite nice. Because that's magical attacks. So that'll help against, like, demons and stuff. So I think I'm going to grab that. We're going to grab that. So we've got Shang Yang under siege. We're going to get more growth for all provinces. Must never stand still. Um, we probably need a big garrison here because there are potentially some orcs in them that are hills. But... That's fine. Okay, so the poll for next time is going to be should... How, how should we deal with the rest of Cathay? Should we be, you know, politically astute? Should we try and worm our way into their affections? Or alternatively, should we just kick the shit out of them until they do... Well, we just kick the shit out of them. I mean, it would potentially make confederating old sis difficult, but do we need her? You know? Do we need old old sissy? Maybe not. That's going to be the poll for next time. For the Patreon supporters, that is. If you're a Patreon supporter, the next episode will be up in a few days. If you're not, then you have to wait until the campaign has been completed. And then it will come out as usual. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.